Dorian having a big effect on Labor Day travel. 61% of people were expected to drive for the holiday. 27% were expected to fly. Within the past few minutes, Orlando International Airport announced it will close starting at 2 Tuesday morning. Yeah, now thousands left scrambling as the flights are canceled. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Moore shows us the impact this is having at Charlotte Douglas Airport. The lines are moving at Charlotte Douglas International Airport today, but if you take a look at the flight status board, you'll see several canceled flights, mainly to Florida and Bahamas destinations here. Most people we've spoken to today say that they're trying to get out ahead of the storm. Now, American Airlines issued a travel alert for more than 20 airports, including coastal airports in North Carolina and South Carolina. This alert means the airline has capped fares and waived baggage fees. American Airlines is warning customers that there may be some disruption to operations, specifically flights operating along the East Coast. My husband back home in Dover has been warning me for the last two days that it was coming and get home, get home before the storm. We don't want to be stuck here for another couple days if it comes up the coast. Definitely get out early. It's, there, it's just not worth waiting to the last minute and always be safe. Officials with Charlotte Douglas are warning folks to check with their airline for the most up-to-date flight status. This storm is not only affecting airline passengers, it's also affecting people traveling on the roads. Coming up at 6, we'll show you how it's impacting those holiday travel plans for road trips. Reporting at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte. And Brad will be live every evening at 8 p.m. with an update on Hurricane Dorian. Download the WCNC app now and you'll get push notifications whenever Brad is live. We'll be right back.